been thrown out. The teen had been dressed in a gorilla suit while rollerblading down the street. As Sam Birch reports, he now has another chance to plead his case. Joe Dupuis finally got the news he's been hoping for. He's going to get another day in court. Well, it's good news because uh, definitely uh, what transpired wasn't, uh, wasn't right in our opinion, so that's why we appealed it. Dupuis employs people to dress like gorillas and advertise his business on the street. Last year, one employee was slapped with a $100 traffic fine for rollerblading down the street dressed as a gorilla. The case went to court where he was found guilty of violating the Highway Traffic Act. That was appealed, and now a new trial has been ordered. It's a considerable amount we had to pay the lawyer, but the thing is, it's the principle of the thing. You can't let things like that slide by. The original case was thrown out after the judge ruled that the teenager charged didn't get a fair trial. And although this entire fight is over a $100 fine, both sides in this issue say it's about a lot more than that. The province says the teenager violated the Highway Traffic Act. In this case, it was the specifics of the activity uh, that are being alleged against Mr. Zimmer, which includes what would be considered aberrant uh, use of the road by a rollerblader. Uh, one, he was, of course, in a gorilla suit, and also uh, the actions of actually being in the street. The province says it's in the interest of public safety to prosecute this case, but Dupuis says he's fighting it because other companies have mascots on the street, and he feels he's being singled out. Sam Birch, CBC News, Regina.